Okay, so I'm Denise, I'm a yoga teacher from Handorf. Um, I think I was ready for a, a journey to, or my journey to continue. So I needed to find or outsource where I wanted to be comfortable. And I think that's where I found it here. Um, and I also find that it's, it's very open-minded so I can still choose what I want out of it mm -hmm. to work for me. Mm. And that's really important rather than being told this is exactly how I need to behave and this is exactly what I need to do. Having choices is really liberating, I think, for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's actually what I like about the retreat the most is the fact that we can still have treats and lots of them. So lots of the retreats I've been on have been very restricted, which has been great at the time because so I think that's what I needed. But now in my life I want to be spoilt as well. So to be able to come on a retreat where you know You've got some beautiful cultural experiences, which is, has been amazing. And you've also got those times where you can go and have a massage or you can go and have a swim or you can socialise and get to know the girls or whoever comes on the retreat with you because you are all like-minded anyway. So we're all going to go home with the same techniques. So it's good to get to know each other. So I think if that's a, a perfect way of doing a retreat is having a bit of everything so that you get a little holiday, you learn a lot, and then that gives you more um, want to put into the meditation classes because you're not so exhausted and you're able to have time out in between. So, yeah, yeah definitely recommend it because of that. The structure of it's really good, mm. I think. Mm. Um, but the epiphanies I've had, um, what I thought may have been my problem and what I kept to be absorbing my time on, there was something a lot more underlying than that. That was the actual problem. Oh. And it manifested when that happened. So it gave me a chance to go back what was that meditation that we did that we would go right back to where we thought it came first, whether it was before birth. Timeline. Timeline, yeah. And then I found, without even thinking, my, sub, my, my unconscious mind just went, that's when it happened, and that's why it happened. And I'm like, oh, I have no idea. Um, the other retreats I've gone on are mainly focused on yoga. So that's the difference, the main difference. And what I like about um, Peter's teaching is that he gives us tools and that's what I haven't learnt before in meditation. A lot of the yoga is we've taught tools with yoga with every position and how you're meant to work with everything but the meditation is something you flow on your own and you don't have a lot of guidance with that. So this has given me the opportunity to now have tools for meditation as well. So I can do that alone from yoga and make that something. As I said, the fire part to me is really, um, is, it brings home to me because we have a lot of fires at home and we enjoy being outside and having fires, but having a ceremony connected to that is really nice to me. I think I'm a little bit um, connected to the Native American tradition too. So I think that that somehow having ceremony all the time is really connecting to me. Mm. So being able to write down our, the things that we want to get rid of in our life and to burn them on the fire is awesome because I have done that a lot myself over the years, written letters or things that really are getting to me, I'll write it down and then I'll burn it. So that's really connecting for me. And then also being able to put our wishes into a beautiful lantern and light the lantern and let them float up into the air was awesome. That was really, that was beautiful. I think that was beautiful, it's the best way to say it. And mine went the longest. Yeah. Which I think you said you're going to get your wishes first because yours started. <laughs> yours finished earlier. Yeah. So, so maybe I have to wait a little longer for my wishes, but they'll come. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs>